Oh, yikes, hun, you don't get to call these whorehouses that you've littered the landscape with churches. Hello? <laughs> yes, hun, you pay them and they make you feel good. Now, what does a whore do? Your, your parents were supposed to teach you every day, in every way, with everything that they do and say, what the Lord your God requires of you. They failed. And this is the product. Here's the question the prophet put. What will you do in the end thereof? Well, this end is that they've got a fag son. Oops. Okay. What nice song. That's what I was saying. Stop praying, stop praying. God will not hear you anymore. You taught the boys and the girls to be proud. Boys, pray if you want, but you got no hope. Full of hell where you will forever burn. Go to devil's fall and you just keep pushing on through the hell where you will forever burn. Forever burn. Forever burn. Go to the hell where you go forever. Give thee thanks and praise, Lord, for the day that thou hast made. We're so thankful and grateful that in these last dark days, Lord, that Thou hast given us Thy word of truth. For we see all around us, Lord, these teeming millions of rebels walking around groping in gross darkness. And Thou hast been kind and merciful unto us and that Thou hast given us Thy word and Thou hast given us a pastor that we would know what Israel ought to do and that we would rightly divide Thy word of truth on the ground every day, Lord, that we would apply it to our lives. And we ask this prayer in the name of our blessed Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, for whom all honor and glory is due both now and forever. Amen. Cursed be he, get this, that keepeth back his sword from blood. With the soldiers and the armies of the Lord, we've got to expect to shed a little blood now and then. And when those four beasts, that is, those living creatures, are faithful pastors, I kind of like it calling faithful pastors beasts. It means they'll get you. I mean, they will get after you, catch you, and eat you. But how many millions of times have these hokey news people claimed, oh, well, they're all kin to you, ain't they? Yes, and so it was with Moses. I think I know. You understand what happened? happened? The Baltimore yeah. cops out for his 38th birthday at a party. He goes in the parking lot and he gets in a fight over a parking spot. This is a cop. So the guy he's fighting with picks up a big chunk of cement and whacks him in the head and kills him. These cops stand in the shoes of all the cops going around this country executing their will instead of doing what they're, they're supposed to be doing. Okay, ready? So took an oath and didn't mean it. Rotten coppers, God is sending your pain. Filthy cops, where's the rock? God hates you. Give him a whack. These plain words, you will hear. We're here to tell. You already hate. Whack your fellow. Bam. With the cement. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's in the Come background. On. Okay, you're cursed of God and your goofy crimes won't stop us from telling you that God is your enemy. My dad's the pastor of the Westboro Baptist Church. I have 11 children. <laughs> They're carrying on. <laughs> yes, son, and I had them one at a time. Oh, yikes. You mean like your parents brainwashed you? Ready? Ready, ready? 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 
I think you need to walk with me for a bit, Luke. And you're holding my hand because you wouldn't hear my words when I said, don't keep running ahead of everybody, making everybody run down the road chasing you. Let me just ask you a question. As between you and me, whose, whose will do you think will prevail in this contest? Exactly, so you might as well give it up. So let me put this plainly. Put the hand out, take my hand, and don't try to wiggle your hand away again. Don't try to wiggle it away. She was pretty young when she started having opinions, I'm just saying. But, but Mom, didn't you brainwash us? What that comes down to at the end of the day is if you teach somebody something that, um, that they don't like, then that equals brainwashing. She called me. Mom? The Topeka West people are here, Mom. Hi, guys! Hi. Hello, children. They better mute themselves. Okay, everyone, uh, mute yourselves because we're going to pray now. Blessed Heavenly Father. We thank thee for allowing thy word to go forth in unimaginable ways and allowing this little body to preach thy word, thy standards all across the world. Most fervently, Lord, we ask that we would be allowed to be a part of those things that are coming. But now we thought, cast us off at this late hour. We ask these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye, guys. Topeka West is out. <laughs> Bye. Oh, 
Listen up. Once you've drilled down these words of God, they rise up with one voice to say, it's okay to be gay. God's a big, fat, freaking liar. That whole thou shalt not lie with man, uh-uh-uh. He's lying. You're looking at a people who have already cast aside every other standard of God. The bottom rung on the uh, filthy debauchery ladder is the, the fact. That's the bottom rung. You're not going to get any worse or more filthy than that. With the fags and the false prophets, you get proud whores strutting up and down Main Street. You taught the boys and the girls to be proud yeah. whores. So who are, who are the famous bimbos that take hours before they present themselves every day? Pick me, start with Dolly Parton, and then go straight to that one we're parroting right now. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Yeah. So, the, so the question is, before we get too far in here, are we crazy? And we have to continually ask ourselves that. Are we crazy? Because you know how they talk about the love of Christ? They got it all wrong. And this old Lutheran pastor is going to put it in one simple paragraph. He's going to lay out the proposition for you. And it's going to answer whether we're crazy or whether they're crazy. He's writing this. There was a difference between being a Lutheran and a Catholic. And there was a difference between being a Baptist and a Methodist. True. Mm -hmm. Today, there's no there difference. There is no difference. You can take off the name of the place, right. and you look right. at their doctrine, and they all have the same doctrine. And one great big overarching fat lie, God loves everyone. Okay. And they get the most zeal when they come out to fight us. All of them with one voice, screaming at the top of their lungs, we will not have that man Christ Jesus these people were rebels all along. They just Absolutely. weren't out quite as loud and proud as they are today. Noah built the ark before the face of the world. 120 years. They all knew he was over there building that ark. And we know, we know, they were vandalizing that ark. It's like 
Yes. Anything they could get their hands on to do to him like they do to us. Yes. And slashing his tires, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, the question was, are we crazy? And I'd say no. <laughs> so man, so man, in this case, they have a smackdown that we're not crazy and that we're right. <laughs> and they look around them and they see what they see. Aha, uh -huh. so what you mean is, is if I don't teach my children like your parents taught you, leaving you to your own devices and say, you gotta make up your own mind up in here. Why do they leave you about the most important thing that's gonna spend eternity with you instead of obeying God and teaching you what he requires of you? But yet, when it comes to this tiny little bit of time you'll spend on this earth, they will require that you get your butt over to that school and you sit in that science class and that math class. They're a bunch of raging hypocrites and disobedient rebels. And by the way, your parents hate you. They all hate you just like you hate each other. Oh, settle down, little girl. Get a grip. <laughs> as cruel as anybody that I've ever had on this program. 